So folic acid is way more than just a supplement that helps aid in the prevention of birth defects in pregnancy. It's actually a type of vitamin B that helps your body system run smoothly. So to help us understand how important it is, Dr. Stacy Sensor from Central Florida Regional joins us now. Thank yes. you so much yes. for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. So as an OBGYN, I'm sure you tell your patients all the time to take folic acid. I do, especially my uh, women who are thinking about getting pregnant. Um, they should take it one month before and also three months, the very f uh, first three months of their pregnancy. And like the ladies at the desk just said, it's not just for pregnant women, it's no. for men too. Right. What, what does folic acid do for men? Um, it's been shown to help with their reproductive capacity and decrease the amount of uh, abnormal uh, chromosomes that they might pass on uh, with fertilization. So is it the same recommendation to... For men to take mm -hmm. it beforehand, before yes. they start trying mm -hmm. to have a baby? Yes, actually 90 days it takes to uh, make a sperm, so they should take it 90 days before. Okay, so mm -hmm. what does this do for a patient once they start taking folic acid? How does it help um, in their body? Um, for reproductive women, it helps to prevent neural tube defects. Um, it also helps to uh, men and children to help decrease their risk of getting anemia. Um, and other issues like depression, um, uh, low, low blood volume or low, low hemoglobin or iron stores, that type of thing. So after a pregnancy, is it also important to keep this supplement going or do you usually recommend something different for men and women? I think you should take an overall general multivitamin that has the folic acid in it. it also, uh, the studies have been shown that it may also decrease your risk of cancer depression. Um, it may also decrease your risk of uh, um, dementia. So I think it's really important to continue as you age. Yeah, it sounds like an overall just great mm -hmm. vitamin to have in your cabinet. Right, right. And it's something you should really be taking every single day, right? Yes. Um, what about folic acid makes it a vitamin? And I know we discussed that, that it's a B vitamin. Right, a B9. Um, what about that is important for people to understand? Um, it's found in most fruits and vegetables, uh, green leafy vegetables, asparagus, uh, Brussels sprouts, citrus few foods. So for people who have a good diet, they um, don't necessarily need to supplement. If you have a problem with absorption or you have celiac disease or Crohn's disease and you may not be able to absorb those nutrients in your diet, then those are the, definitely the patients who should supplement. Yeah, I know we've had studies before that have shown it's, it's actually better to get those uh, types of vitamins from the foods if you can. Yes. So what types of foods, again, would people need to be looking for if they're trying to make sure that they're getting enough folic acid? Uh, green leafy vegetables, um, asparagus, um, Brussels sprouts, Citrus foods like um, oranges, bananas, strawberries, um, and the um, United States mandated that uh, foods be fortified with B B9 or folic, uh, folate uh, in 1989. And by doing that, it also decreased about 30% of the neural tube defects that were out there. So a balanced diet is really important in mm -hmm. addition to these supplements. Um, we talked about men and women. What about children? Is it important for children as they're growing up to be having this in their diet as well? Yep, absolutely. So initially, uh, until they're one, they take about 50 micrograms, I think. From one to 12, it's about 200 micrograms they recommend in their diet. And then after 12, they should continue to take the 400 micrograms that adults are recommended to take. 